hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again i came with a very interesting topic which is on the basis of speech recognition and here i will make you understand how you can achieve your goals with the help of speech recognition and how you can implement this functionality in your application with the very easy step so here you can see the demo hey patrick full stop where are you question mark can you please call me back right now question mark new line hey michael i am here so like that you can implement in your uh, application we, we we are going to implement this on the basis of swift 5 programming language so let's begin with the development so guys this is my new project here i have designed one screen this is a button and this is the text where i will change the text on the basis of my speaking and this is the text box in that i will change the color okay as i am speaking like red or green or blue something like that then it will change according to that we will listen the color and we will change here on the basis of our functionality so here i give all the outlet in my view controller you can see outlet for label speech outfit outlet for view color and outlet for button start and here is outlet for uh, sorry action for button okay here from here we will start our speech recognition and we will stop from here as well and before starting the project uh, i will tell you two permission you need to give one for speech recognition another for micro micro uses okay so you can see here speech recognition uses description and microphone uses de description you have to give this usage description as per your requirement okay like you are using speech recognition for searching something in your application or uh, implementing some functionality which is inside your application so you can give you can describe that so user can allow the permission to you okay so at the very first we will start from the local property i hope you are very clear about that these is uh, these all are the outlets and this is the action and this is the alert view okay i have all, uh, already created that for you so we won't waste for uh, more time for that okay so at the very first we will start with the local properties and before starting you also need to do one more thing you have to import this speech in a package inside your controller where you are going to use speech recognition functionality okay and this is the speech recognition delegation okay so you need to import this functionality and you need to ex extend this class speech recognition delegate okay so let's begin at the very first we will take the audio outlet okay we will take the audio property let audio engine and this will be av audio engine okay now in same way we will take the uh, sf speech recognizer class okay let and we will take this as optional okay this will be type of sf speech recognizer this will be optional because sometime it's throws error okay now in third step we will take the task or re request let request for requesting the audio recognition okay now request request will be as if speech audio buffer recognition request okay now in the last step where task equal to sf task so it will give you hint automatically sf speech recognition task and this take as mandatory okay so you done with all the functionality now i will take one more boolean variable so that we can uh, handle that we need to run that or we need to stop that okay so here i will take one boolean variable where bool sorry is start 
and it will be type of bool by default false okay so now we will implement the functionality on button click uh, before that we have to take the permission we have to take the authorization from the user so i will create one function for requesting the permission okay func request permission here i will take sf speech sorry recognizer dot request authorization okay and this will be auth state this i will put into the main queue okay main operation queue dot main dot operation here i will write if auth state double equal to authorized then and before that i'm going to uh, button start dot is enable false okay this will be self and here i will enable this is enable true okay guys and for your information i will print here accepted else and with if condition same auth state double equals here we are actually verifying the state in which state user is it if user denied then here we will alert denied the permission okay and this will be self same condition i will copy and paste this will be for not determine means user don't have speech recognition recognition functionality in user form there is no okay second line restricted user has been restricted for using the speech recognition okay so it's done i think so control i okay now our next step will be just adjust some the code now let's see the output oh i did not call this so i have to call this one request permission now again build and run now you can say pop up came here okay if i click on okay then it will come accepted okay so now let's begin uh, let's start with different process now we have to start our speech recognition okay so that's cool at the very first we will create a node so let node will become from the audio engine dot input node okay now in second step we will take the recording buffer let recording format equals to node dot and this will be output format for bus 0 okay now we have to start node dot install tap we have to install actually buffer size 1024 okay format recording format block not tap block yes format it will return you some buffer 
so what what it will be actually buffer this is underscore so self dot request dot add uh, sorry append and buffer buffer will be buffer okay cool i hope you are clear up to here now we will check if speech recognition is available for your application or not okay the last one the last property actually it is so let my recognition and it will be inside the guard okay speech recognizer of return and i will say here self dot alert view okay. it is not available on your location it means that now we will check if not my recognition dot available here self dot alert view recognition is not free right now please try again after some time okay now finally we will start to recognizing that so task equal to speech recognizer dot recognition task and this one speech request so here i will pass request whatever i take here okay this one now next is output how the output will come it's a response and it's an error so we will we will validate that guard let response double equal to response so it's not double equal to else sorry return great here we will check if error is not equal to nil then self dot alert view dot error dot debug description or local description localized description okay now else self dot alert view problem in giving the response okay so i hope it's clear up to here so debug description okay now here we will take as a message and we will take from the response dot best transcription dot formatted string got it and i will paste that self dot this will be lb speech dot text equal to message so i hope it's clear now let's see the output what will be the output hi can you read it for me oh i forgot to call this function actually sorry from here i will call that okay this is the start re speech recognition same way we have to cancel that okay so that it won't create any problem for that fun cancel speech recognition first of all we will stop our request so task dot finish and task dot cancel task equals to nil so it's for task now for audio okay first of all request dot and audio that's cool now audio engine audio engine dot stop and audio engine dot node input node dot remove tap for zero bus okay now i will take the variable first of all i will change the value of the variable is start sorry start equals not is start it will revert the value okay if is start then we have to start start speech recognition else cancel speech recognition okay now i will give the name uh, button 
start dot set title start dot normal and here I'll give sorry here it will be stop because after starting the title will be changed now and here it will be and here once recording start here I will give the background color color to dot green and same way system dot orange sorry okay so let's see the output hey Michael can you hear me hello uh, you have to change the input source okay now again I am starting that hey Michael can you hear me I think we missed something hey we forgot to initialize our audio okay so after that we have to prepare our audio okay so audio engine dot prepare and now we will start our audio engine with uh, do catch okay do here try audio engine dot start and it will throw an error let error same alert sorry error comes here for starting the sorry starting the audio listener so now we will see the output once again and we can say error is not equal to nil then local sorry it's local as description let's see the output now hey can you hear me question mark new line yes i can hear you full stop where are you man question mark new line hey comma i am in jail so it's working as expected okay so our next step we will change the color on the basis of our words okay from here from this message we have to take the last string then we will recognize that we will keep the if else condition and we will change the color okay here I have this code okay last string this is segment this is the response the complete response or we can say segment message okay and here we divide into and we predict the last string okay now we are changing last string with green pink or blue and we can say one more color it's black sorry black is black okay now we'll see the output I will speak the color name and bottom container will be changed okay hey I like green color oh of course but I like red color full stop and who like pink color full stop no one but everyone like blue color full stop no I think everyone likes black color so guys I hope you understand the video and if you have any question regarding that please comment below and tell me it is really helpful for you or not and here it is my channel like and subscribe my channel thank you so much have a great time